So for this page here, I had have um, Megan kept walking and then good gravy and apple fell on her head. So I want an apple hitting this girl's head. Looking back, this was Megan, a girl on a swing. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to search and actually find a picture of this same girl with an apple hitting her head. So what we're going to do is edit that image and add a couple of shapes to actually make it look like an apple is hitting her head. So searching the web, girl on swing clip art. That's what I searched the first time to find her. So there she is. Let's insert her. Now I have her here, but I don't need her entire person. Now what I can do is I just want her head. So I can do a couple of things to do this. I'm looking to crop her. So this up here is the crop button. If I click on it, it'll let me crop. But another way to get there, if I double click on her image, you'll see these frames around the side. If I drag them, I can basically cut this picture to just be her head. And then I can drag the corner and make it bigger. So I've got her face now, her head, Realize there's no sense that there's even a swing there, but it's the same girl I had before. The next thing I'm going to want is an apple. So apple. And then again, remember, clip art is really important. Now, one way I can double check to make sure it is transparent. I could type in transparent. That's not a bad idea. But if I click the preview button, if it is basically checkerboarded in the background, that tells me it's transparent. So that one actually is not transparent. Let's try this one here, the plus. So the fact that it's this checkerboard background means that it's transparent. So it's not gonna come with a white frame. So I'll resize this. Again, dragging the corner is key. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit on its side. All right, Apple. Apple hit her head. Now, we're going to add a little bit to make this a little bit more interesting. She probably shouldn't be smiling if an apple hit her head. So I'm going to adjust her mouth by adding a shape. So from these shapes here, if you think about her mouth, she may be going like, oh. So I'm going to add a circle and just draw it right over her mouth. And again, her mouth is going to be wide open. So to fill in that shape from the paint bucket here, the fill is going to be black. All right. And I'm just going to probably move it over just a little bit to make sure it's covering her mouth a little bit. And again, I can stretch it out. Now, if you want to get more exacting, it's always a good idea. You can always zoom in if you want with the magnifying glass. So I can be much, much closer and then hit the select to get out of it. So Apple hit her head. Now her eyes, I played around with her eyes and turned them into stars. So from the shapes, these are some shapes here. Arrows, so when I drew the swing going back and forth, I used these arrows. From the callouts here, you'll see I have a star. And actually I also have text bubbles here if you wanted to have someone say something. So now put a star over her eye and let's fill it with yellow. So the paint bucket yellow. And if I duplicate, again, remember duplicate is control D. I'll get another star that's exact same size and put it over her other eye. All right. Other thing I can do to kind of show that I'm smashing her head, that the apple's hitting her. From these shapes, we saw these call outs that one kind of looks like a bang or a smash. So I click on that. And if I add this right there, it's like a smash. Now I can make it yellow again by filling it. And that looks like a pretty good smash. Now, the other thing you can do is play around with layering if you wanted to. If I right click or it's two fingers on the touchpad, 
I go to order here, I can send this backwards layer by layer. So if I send it backwards, I can keep sending it backwards. Another thing it says is if you hit control and the down arrow, that'll be a lot quicker. So this one I'm going to send backwards, hold down control and the arrow. And now it looks like, ooh, it hit her head. Basically what I had are a couple of different elements here. I had the girl's face that I cropped. Then I added this oval for her mouth, like, oh. Then these two stars, which were shapes. And then added the apple hitting her head. And then added that extra shape down there to show the crash. So you can do this. Again, you don't have to draw anything at all. It's just combining these shapes and images to make something really unique. And the last thing you may want to do when you have them all together where you want, highlight them all, right click or two fingers on your touchpad and group them. That makes sure when you move them or resize them, they all stay together. So if you can do this, that is fantastic. I think this is going to be the way to make your greatest images. Combining images and shapes will make fantastic pictures. All right, good luck.